After Saibiok's death, Sangwoo and Giyun are taken for the sixth and the final game. As they stand before each other, the staff reveals that in the last game, they will either have to be on the offense or defense. Giyun, clearly still livid with Sangwoo, wins the toss and chooses offense. The two are then led into a field, where they played the very first game, red light green light. In the middle of the field, a geometrical figure of a squid is drawn. The VIPs again observe the game from a higher platform. The overseer explains to them that the last game is called a squid game. It was a children's game that was played in Korea many years ago. The attacker, Gi Yoon, has to be inside the squid's drawing. To win the game he has to run past the defense, Sang Woo, and tap the squid's face with his foot. If Sang Woo manages to push Gi Yoon out of the squid drawing, he wins the game. And lastly, if one of them cannot continue the game for any reason, the last one standing will win. When they are inside the squid's body, Gi Yoon asks the staff in what scenario they will not be able to continue the game. The staff replies that the last scenario is if a player dies, hinting that killing each other is absolutely fair in this game. The overseer tells the VIPs that any kind of violence is allowed in Squid Game and there are no restrictions. Giyun takes his position and ties his shoelaces, ready to fight his old friend, while Sang Wu takes his position with a knife. The game finally starts and Giyun asks Sang Wu if he remembers how they used to play this game when they were young. As Sang Wu tries to attack him, he throws dirt into his eyes and easily makes his way to the squid's neck. Just then, the sky goes dark, and it begins to rain. Sang Wu knows that Gi Yoon is upset because he killed Sai Biok. He makes an excuse, saying that she was going to die anyway. He just saved her from a lot of pain. However, Gi Yoon doesn't buy his bullshit, and calls him out for killing her because of his greed. Sang Wu finally comes clean, and says that he killed her because Gi Yoon would have stopped the whole game just to save her, and since the majority would vote to stop it, he would have to go back home with no money. Gi Yoon takes his knife out and tells him how Sai Biok stopped him from killing Sang Woo last night. He says that he won't let Sang Woo take the money at any cost and attacks him. The two struggle, trying to kill each other with their knives, but they soon lose their weapons and combat with their hands beneath the rain. A while later, both are muddy and tired, but they don't stop fighting. Sang Woo gets his hand on a knife and stabs Gi Yoon in his thigh. Gi Yoon lies limp on the ground, while Sang Woo asks him if he remembers this playground from the first game. He attacks Gi Yoon with the knife, intending to end him, but it only stabs through his palm. Gi Yoon bites his leg, and turns the match around. Both are bloodied when Gi Yoon sits on top of Sang Woo, and attacks him with the knife, but instead of killing him, he stabs the ground beside his head. Even after all Sang Woo has done, Gi Yoon doesn't kill him. He simply stands up, and makes his way to the squid's face. The VIPs declare Gi Yoon the winner, and the staff points his gun at Sang Woo on the ground. However, before Gi Yoon can reach the head, he turns back and stops the man from shooting Sang Woo. He asks him if they both agree to terminate the game while they get out alive. The staff calls the overseer and asks if that is possible. The VIPs are shocked to see Gi Yoon willing to sacrifice all that money and hard work for his unfaithful friend. A heavily injured Sang Woo asks Gi Yoon if he remembers his mother cooking them supper when they were little after they played every day. Gi Yoon extends his hand to his friend and asks him to come home, but Sang Woo apologizes to him, takes the knife from the ground, and stabs himself in the neck. Gi Yoon freezes in shock as his friend takes his last breath. Sang Woo tries saying something about his mother but dies before he can. A heartbroken Gi Yoon cries while holding his dead friend in his arms. Gi Yoon has finally won the game, along with 456 billion won. In the following scene, Gi Yoon is in a limo with the overseer. He has his hands tied and his eyes blindfolded so he cannot see the man. The overseer congratulates him for winning the game, but Gi Yoon asks him who he is. Instead of answering, the overseer activates the gas valves in the limo, making Gi Yoon unconscious again. After a while, the limo stops by the side of a busy road, and someone throws Gi Yoon out. 
Just then, a man helps Giyun by removing his blindfold. Giyun realizes he has something inside of his mouth and spits out a credit card. He goes straight to the ATM and enters the card. Without thinking much about the pin, he enters his player number, 0456. Giyun then withdraws a single 10,000 won note and sees he still has 456 billion won in his bank account. However, Giyun doesn't seem happy about the revelation. In fact, he doesn't react at all. To him, the death of 455 people is not worth the money in his bank account right now. He takes the bill and returns to his house. On his way, sang -woo's mother stops him and asks him about his injuries. The old woman asks him if he has heard from sang -woo, while gi -yoon just stands there, holding back his tears, having witnessed sang -woo's death just a few hours ago. He hands sang -woo's mother the 10,000 won bill, then returns home. He finds his mother lying limp on the floor. He asks her to wake up, but unfortunately, she doesn't. gi -yoon's mother had died while he was away. He cries in pain and lies down beside her. The only reason gi -yoon joined the game again was to pay for his mother's treatment. But even she is gone. The scene then cuts to a year later. gi -yoon is on a train, traveling somewhere. He looks to be in bad shape, as his hair has grown out, and his beard is untrimmed. He has a grim look on his face, just like he had a year ago, after returning from the game, indicating that nothing much has changed since then. It turns out he is going to the bank, where his money was transferred after the game. The bank manager sweet talks him because of the amount of money in his bank account. He wants Kiyun to transfer his money to another account so that he will receive more interest. As he talks, Kiyun replies with a vague answer and looks totally uninterested. After a while, Kiyun gets up and surprises the manager by asking to borrow 10,000 won from him. The manager is left speechless, but gives him the money anyway. With that money, gi -yoon goes to a beach and sits by himself while drinking. A woman selling roses pleads with him to buy one, so he does. With the rose, she also gives him a tiny envelope. gi -yoon opens the envelope and is surprised to see a golden card with the symbol of Squid Game. On the back of the card, an address and time are written. gi -yoon is beyond surprised, but is determined to find answers as to why the game was being played and who is behind it all. He goes to the address written on the card, and ends up in a room with an old man lying on a hospital bed. When he nears the man, gi -yoon freezes in shock. The man is player number one, Oh Enam. Enam asks him for a glass of water, and gi -yoon quietly gives it to him. gi -yoon composes himself, and asks Enam who he actually is, and if he was the mastermind behind the games. Enam ignores his questions and points out a drunk and passed out man on the street through the window. He asks gi -yoon if he still trusts people after all that he has been through. gi -yoon in turn gets more irritated by the second and asks him the same question again. Enam then tells him he wants to play a game. If someone helps the drunk man before midnight, gi -yoon will win and Enam will answer all of his questions. But if no one helps the drunk man, Enam will be the winner. Giyun loses his cool and strangles Enam, but he stops when the old man claims he wouldn't get answers to his questions if he kills him. Giyun quietly obliges and looks at the clock. Twenty minutes left until midnight. They wait for someone to help the man in silence. After a while, Giyun again asks the old man who he is. Enam comes clean by saying that he is the mastermind of the game. He and some of his extremely rich friends were bored. Even though they had a lot of money, they had no happiness in life, so they all came up with this plan to somehow make their life more interesting. He wanted to meet gi -yoon because he hasn't used any of his prize money and is still living his old life. Enam asks if gi -yoon hasn't used the money because he feels guilty. gi -yoon claps back by saying that Enam should be the one feeling guilty for killing so many people, but Enam claims that the players chose to come to their game of their own free will. He didn't force anyone. gi -yoon then inquires why he joined the game himself when he could have just watched them. Enam claims that he missed his childhood days and wanted to live them one more time before dying of a brain tumor. As they talk, a person approaches the drunk man in the streets but walks away right after. Enam continues saying he doesn't regret joining the game because he was the happiest he had been in a long time while he was playing with them. 
as he says his last words, only a few seconds are left, until midnight. A police car suddenly stops in front of the drunk man, the person who had approached him earlier had gone to ask for help from the police. Seconds before midnight, the man is saved, and Giyun wins the bet, but it is too late because Enam takes his last breath, and dies, before revealing any more about the game. Giyun looks at the old man's face for the last time, and leaves. Then we see the flashback of the time they were playing the fifth game. The main man of the game takes off his mask and reveals himself to be O Enom. Back in the present day, the overseer of the game, In Ho, closes Enom's eyes. In the following scene, we see Gi Yoon at a barbershop. He has finally gotten closure from the mastermind of the game himself, so he feels better for the first time in a year. He walks out of the shop with bright red hair, indicating a new and fresh start. Perhaps he's going to become a Twitch streamer. Gi Yoon then goes to the orphanage, where Saibiok's brother lives. He greets the little boy who starts talking once Gi Yoon mentions Saibiok. Gi Yoon is there to fulfill the promise he had made to Saibiok. He takes the little boy to Sang Woo's mother and asks her to take care of him. The old woman happily welcomes the little boy and treats him with love. Gi Yoon then gives her some luggage and leaves. After he is gone, she opens the luggage, looking for a jacket for the little boy, but instead finds it full of money. Surprised, she calls gi -yoon's name, but he is already gone. gi -yoon then makes his way to the subway while on a call with his daughter. He is going to the U.S. to meet her, after a whole year. At the station he is beyond surprised to see the game's salesman, who handed him the card and got him into all of this chaos. The man is playing the same game with someone else, and smiles when he sees gi -yoon. gi -yoon runs towards him, but before he can catch him, the man gets into a train and leaves. gi -yoon takes the card from the other man who he was playing with, and warns him not to go there at any cost. He then makes his way to the airport, but calls the number from the card one last time. The person from the other end asks him for his name, date of birth, and if he wants to play the game. Gi Yoon tells him his name, surprising the man on the other end. He then tells him that he isn't a horse that they could bet on. The man recognizes him and calls him number 456. He tells Gi Yoon to get on the flight and continue with his life for his own good. Gi Yoon tells the man that he will never forgive the people who made them play the game. He cuts the call and turns back around, determined to bring the game to an end.